वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ मास्टर स्ट्रोक एंड दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ डी आई केसलेट दैट इज फॉलोइंग अंडर द टाइप वन और टाइप वन टाइप ऑफ डी आई केसलेट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू योर टेबल्स एंड ग्राफ एंड दिस इज सो कॉल्ड इट इज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस और यू कैन से अनदर टर्मिनोलॉजी इट इज अ लाइन प्रोडक्शन लाइन प्रोडक्शन इट इज फॉलोइंग डाउन इन द टी वन कैटेगरी टाइप वन कैटेगरी वेर डेटा विल बी कैटेगराइज एंड रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल्स और ग्राफ मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स डेटा विल बी गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल because various factors and various variable will be there representation in the form of table will be easy but line production and related to line production so many type of caselet has asked in cat and other mba entrance test like uh, if you, you just you will check from last 15 to 20 years cat paper then minimum 6 to 7 times related to manufacturing process or related to line production question or caselet has asked what is line production or what is manufacturing process little bit will uh, know about this because without understanding what is manufacturing and what is line production we will not able to understand this type of caselet in full detail then just we'll go little bit what is the manufacturing process and how many manufacturing will be done under the factory setup and after Afterwards, we'll try to understand what is the line production and different type of line production setup for different type of products. Then again, welcome. This is the session of DI, and uh, of course, it is going to affect your T1 type of DI caselet, type one, type one DI caselet that is based on the tables and graph. And if you will see the section wise, then it is it is going to affect your DI and LR section. Then without delay, just we'll move. What is the line production? Line production mainly depends, or it will be mainly based on the four pillars that is called main machines, material, and processes. I think everybody knows. Who are from mechanical engineering background, they knows better. But who are not from engineering background, also they know this is the four pillar of manufacturing or fabrication or do establishing the factory setup for the production of any of the particular product. Either it is a batch model, lot model, lot model, or maybe any of the model. But these four are the basic pillar main. materials processes and machines 3m you can say 3m this is common m m and m and you can say one of the processes then uh, to manufacture any particular product these four type of resources will be needed one is machine based on the requirement based on the process which type of process we are going to do and after that materials material may be two type one is raw material one may be finished product or maybe something and third is main means a skilled labor unskilled labor supervisor engineer manager every kind of person who are involved from top to bottom in the factory setup in the manufacturing process that is you can categorize as a main and most important you can say it is a process because it will be wholly depends on what we want to manufacture what is our target what is our goal means it is related to a particular uh, type of industry it is related to a particular type of product or it is related to a particular particular type of uh, particular type of uh, requirement any of the cases processes will define which kind of machine will be required which kind of material will be required and which level of a skilled people will be required then processes you can keep at a center point or you can say it is a part of planning before processes planning will be there if planning is everything is done after the planning processes will be decided like this product how to make a step one a step two a step three first you have to do the drilling then you have to do the milling or if it is a electrical equipment then first you have to do some different product or if it is a civil manufacturing then it will be different type of cases but processes will define which type of machine material and main will be required then i think very clear more than that not required i am not teaching you the engineering here we are going to discuss about the di caselet that is based on the line production means to set up a line production means a production line for a particular product or manufacturing a particular product these four pillars are needed main machine material and processes then here everything these four of course it will be a variable we are a mathematics student of course we are a, we are just looking everything in the angle of the math even rc i am teaching that also will be look in the angle of the math then of course this line production also will be look in the lens of the math means in mathematical point of view what we understood mathematical point of view we understood these four are variable based on that what output will be there that will be another kind of variable means minimum five type of variable can be or these five type of variable can be extended then out of these variable we can pick three or four or five variable and we can just make just we can mix in better way and we will able to make the di caselet that is our basic idea these four like main material machines and processes this is variable afterwards output 
for one particular product one one output different product different output different line setup where based on the capacity of the production unit different type of output will be there then number of unit manufactured that also will be one kind of variable number of units rejected during the manufacturing or during the final inspection what is your desired product what you need or what you want to make the product after all the processes that is your final product but before coming to the final product you are you are uh, just crossing each and every processes and each and every process a certain inspection or certain quality checks or certain quality measures will be there and during that checks and inspection process maybe few percentage of your product get rejected means you can say number of units rejected during the manufacturing or during the final inspection means once product is going to going to become a complete ready as a final product till that time or final inspection r1 is the number of units either it will be given in absolute number or it will be given in percentage that is our common sense we can think number of units number of units always always will be given in absolute number as per here but here number of units rejected during this manufacturing or during the final inspection may be given in the form of absolute number or maybe in the form of percentage that only we have to think as a mathematical mind we have to think here one kind of one kind of mathematical variable is there data can be given in two format either numbers absolute numbers or percentage means number of units maybe just suppose 1000 unit you are producing then out of 1000 unit just suppose on the average 150 units are rejecting one during the processes means r1 is equal to 150 and maybe it is given 150 or it is given 15 percent matter is same then data can be given in two format next is number of units rejected after certain number of years means any of the product you are making every everything is having some applicable time means application time or maybe self life or maybe you can say durability means this product will be valid for next two years or four years or five years whatever will be there depends on the type of product or which kind of raw material we have used but every unit having certain time period and after certain that certain number of years it will get rejected it will be expired during for ex, uh, related to expire another concept is self life self life means if any any product related to rubber or related to related to nylon or any kind of this this kind of chemicals then self life is another concept means up to that time it will be in good condition afterwards also it will be in condition but not in good condition not not in desired condition what is needed means its property chemical property will change then once it is related to chemical property then generally in terminology it is called self life but if it is not it is not a chemical product then generally we will we will tell number of unit rejected after certain number of years means we can say it is a duration maybe two years four years or five years whatever after the next variable is number of units damaged during making the product during manufacturing process maybe certain percentage of unit will be damaged that damaged it will be just your number of units whatever you expected it will be output it will reduce means just suppose you expected after all the processes 1500 units will be produced will be manufactured but number of units after getting passed through all the inspection process maybe during a storing time or during inventory time or during during a transport time maybe few unit will be damaged then it will be decrease your output and it will be create one kind of load on your input the number of units damaged and self life without like uh, you can say theoretically if you want to go in very detail each and every point then it will be very difficult to understand because you have to understand so many things but you are an engineer so you are most of the people are engineer you are having very sharp mind you can just gauge within few minutes what is the variable and what we want to do we are not interested to understand all the definitions and all the processes and whatever complexity is there complexity of manufacturing manufacturing factory our interest is what are the variables are involved how we will convert in the form of mathematical mathematical concept and mathematical formulas and based on that we will able to solve the question then without uh, without uh, going in depth each and every point just will take one example and we will able to understand all these things in better way just will take one example a company is manufacturing the product p1 from year 2010 
data has given for 2010 to 2015 one table has given where data has given from 2010 to 2014 only not 15 you can say here uh, just handwriting mistake it is 2014 now here r2 r2 one of the variable is given number of units or percentage of units rejected after two years then here just we'll look the table this is i am just giving very simple example don't expect this is a replica of your cat problem cat they are not going to ask exact this level of question but after discussing this question i will tell you how to fine tune this question how to make this question further interesting and how to make these this type of caselet further complicated both i will discuss but before going to that level first we'll try to understand what kind of this di caselet is how to understand and how to tackle this kind of di caselet then 2010 this is your n number of units this is produced 165 it is given in lakhs you can say 165 lakhs 2011 180 lakhs 196 lakh 213 223 r1 r1 is number of percentage of units a percentage of units just will go through what is r1 number of units rejected during the manufacturing or during final inspection then you can say during process or during manufacturing these percentage of units are rejected due to maybe quality is not proper or maybe some other quality measures or quality issues maybe dimensions are not perfect or maybe raw material whatever we have taken it is not in exact chemical property what is required whatever reason will be there related to quality measures i am just telling quality measures this five percent five percent of units are rejected here 2011 six percent rejected 2012 it is uh, again 7% rejected. This is 5%. This is 2%. Now R2 means after two years, again, 20% of units, it will become out of the race or you can say it will be not usable condition. Again, 20%, 20%, 20%. This generally it will be common because uh, this depends on the type of product. If number of uh, this type of product will change, then generally this percentage will change. Otherwise, this will be almost same in uh, one type of product like here product p1 it will be same like after two years 20 percent of product will be rejected 20 percent of unit will be rejected here d d is given the damage percentage of damage seven percent three percent five percent eight percent ten percent i have given very simple table i think you were thinking this is simple then what is complicated complicated it is not complicated it is very simple it is just looks like it is some data has given only i have given the 16 different data out of 16 not 16 i think uh, 5 into 4 20 data 20 data i have given out of 25 data is given in absolute number and remaining data 15 data is given in percentage this you can say in nutshell mathematically this table is representing five data in absolute number and 15 data in percentage but all these 15 data are depending on these five numbers because these five percent this depends on 165 these 20 percent depends on this 165 this seven percent also depends on this uh, 165 means whatever units you are producing based on that only three different percentage we are considering and these percentage can be additive or can be subtractive that much only that much only means once we are progressing from year to year then whatever last year product was there it will be keep on add and after two years then before uh, two years before product whatever manufactured that out of that 20 percent will be obsolete means you can say 20 percent obsolation is there after two years means whatever 2010 final output is there final product is there means final number of units are there that will become 20 percent will become obsolete in 2012 this is meaning of r2 2011 whatever manufactured finally it will become 20 percent will become absolute uh, obsolete in 2013 and 2012 what is produced that will become obsolete in 2014 only 20 percent remaining 80 percent will be active then your question just you can expect based on your strong vedic math knowledge you can say question can be based on the plus minus multiplication and division this is one of the thing second is percentage calculation more than that anything is there i think more than that i am not observing any of the thing more than that nothing is there these two tools is sufficient to solve this basic level of questions or you can say it is not cat level question but if I will little fine tune, it will become a cat level question. But for introduction purpose to understand the line production, this is enough. This is sufficient to understand how we will able to deal. Then just ba based on this data, we'll try to understand and try to resolve the data in different, different way. Like in 2012, how many units will be available? This can be one of the question. 
how we will measure it, measure in 2012 number of units one is 2012 whatever manufactured final output that will be one of the parameter one of the measurement next is 2011 whatever manufactured that is running because that will not become obsolete in 2012 that also will be added and 2010 whatever we have produced that 20% will be obsolete remaining 80% will be there correct then these three data you have to add that will give you the total number of units available in 2012 am i right it is 100% right just we'll check in 2010 what are the factors will applicable 2010 all three percentage data will be applicable 5% 20% and 7% because 5% of course either you are using these these number of units in 2010 itself or 11 or 12 itself or 13 itself 5% is applicable because 5% is a percentage of rejection during your manufacturing process then 5% will be out this 7% also will be out because it is damaged category then that is also mandatory it will be out 7 plus 5 12% will be out if you are using 2010 product in 2012 then another 20% will be out means all three percentage you have to just add 20 plus 5 plus 7 it will become 7 plus 5 12 plus 20 it will become 32% 32% will be out remaining will be 68% 68% of what 165 lakhs this date i think now you are feeling comfortable now you are feeling comfortable how to deal with this now 2011 this 20% data will not applicable because all 100% what will be final output that will be in usable condition in 2012 it will not become obsolete then only 6% date and 3% only will be out I means 6 plus 3 9% will be out out of 180 then 91% will be remaining 91% of 180 and 2012 these again two data only will be out 7% and 12% mean 7 and 12% will become how much 12% 12% will be out 88% of 196 these if you are making just you are applying vedic math concept and you are calculating approximate or accurate within 1 minute that will be enough one minute also will not take i hardly 30 to 40 30 to 40 second you you will take either you can convert in either you can convert in percentage calculation of this multiplication or you can take the help of rd technique either you can convert in percentage or you can take the help of rd technique any one you can do everything you know i will not just go through in detail or otherwise if you want to go like this way you can just multiply in percentage way 68% upon 65 it will become 1112 how we can say simple way 30% you just make minus 30% upon 65 30% upon 65 will be how much 16.5 into 3 just i am telling you telling it will take more time 16.5 it will be it become around 50 50 will be out 50 will be out another 2% you have to make out 112 same with 91% of 180 10% you have to make minus 180 minus 18 it will come 172 1% you have to add 174 here 88% of 196 means 10% first you have to make minus 19.6 20 will be out 176 176 again 2% you have to make minus 172 How much time it is taking? Hardly 30 second, 30 to 40 second. That only it should take if you are uh, expecting from yourself to see in all the top level of IEMs in next one or two years. And afterwards, you are looking, you are expecting some good career. Then approximately it will come 458 lakhs unit that will be available in 2012 for usage purpose. This product P1. I think very simple. Now just we'll try to understand how many different type of question or different type of complexity we can we can make based on this line production or based on this type of caselet. Various different type of questions can be asked or created. Further, this type of caselet based on the line production can be can be can we make tough or interesting based on the following points we have not introduced i have not introduced all these factors all these variable if i will introduce one more question will become very interesting question will become very interesting then again you have to use the vedic math technique of comparison technique data comparison or table comparison like one of the thing is self life i have not introduced self life like uh, after after 2 years it is becoming 20% obsolete but maybe after after 10 years or 20 years it will become 100% obsolete means life itself will out fatigue life will be out if it is a chemical product then after 5 years 100% will be out like self life next is r2 r2 here given exact percentage number means 5% 7% or 8% whatever given if r2 we are not giving in giving in exact percentage we are giving in the form of range like r2 may be 5 to 12% 
then question will become further interesting means minimum rejection after 2 years will be 5% maximum can go 12% between 5 to 12% anything may be acceptable then r2 if you are making in the form of range question will become further interesting or you can say little complicated after that data is given for two or more products here i have given the data and table for only one product p1 if you are giving for two products or three products then comparison of data based on the different product it will become a good question because comparison of data it will be always giving the very you can say just uh, it is uplifting the category of question because it is not easy it is not easy because comparing 20 data for this table and 20 data of another table if together you want to compare you need certain basic math skill you need some mathematical skill if you want to do individual data comparison based on the mathematical formula it will take very huge time and that is not permissible or that is you can say it is not advisable means you have to use some mathematical sense some data handling sense then only you will able to handle this type of question next is same product manufactured by two or three products online this is another interesting questions if we are adding here only one production line we have added where capacity are defined based on year to year and rejection also defined just suppose same way another production line is there for same product product p1 means product p1 is manufactured or manufacturing under the three or four products online production line pl1 pl2 pl3 pl4 then pl1 some some other efficiency is there pl2 some other efficiency is there pl3 some other efficiency is there then how to compare the data between pl1 pl2 and pl3 then this is another interesting factor where uh, this question can become a good you can say above the cat level question next is setup setup time and unit time for different process process about the process i have not introduced at all i have just discussed in the table data only given about the output input still we have not considered means how many person we have taken what are the process we are adopting in every process what is the setup type of setup time of machine what is the unit time of machine these all we have not taken in account just to extend this question you are coming to the input side then again question can become very interesting next is efficiency of workmen this is another based on that different set of different set of caselet also can be created but in same type of caselet if you are just adding mixing one one of the refined tuning like if efficiency of workmen then question can become very standard after then raw material input or you can say overall all input side these all are the input side whatever we have considered in uh, given data we have considered only output side input side we have not taken the data we have not take considered a single variable just suppose if we are considering one or two variable of input side and another one or two variable of output side together then question can become more interesting or more difficult in your sense it is more difficult my sense it is more interesting or extension of this question you can say after making the product or manufacturing the product maybe immediately you are not able to deliver or your customer is not immediately ready maybe you have to deliver your demand will come maybe after six months or maybe one year or maybe some staggered demand is there after regular interval of time then before coming to the next demand stage you have to keep that finished product in safe condition means how to how to store it uh, store that product and how to maintain the inventory based on your regular demand then this is your another type of you can say here again algebraic equation we have to use how to keep like minimum inventory maximum inventory and minimum uh, rate of production how we will maintain the store how we will make the counting how we, so many issues are there and so many factors are there based on that also questions are created and one two times in cat or other mba interest test they have asked already about the inventory inventory is another interesting type of question means you can say based on this type of line production i've given one of the idea about the manufacturing industry that is opening the one one different set of questions generally based on the type one sometimes it will be type 2 but most of the time type 1 based on the tables and graphs or plots or diagrams then this is your extension type inventory or store keeping then i think uh, enough we have done related to this uh, type of uh, di case rate like line production what we have used here basic math what i told plus minus multiplication division and percentage calculation that much only we have used more than that we have not used anything but data has given it looks like very complicated way but questions you will able to solve very easy way it looks like complicated but once you know little bit about the pro manufacturing process or manufacturing factory then you will able to understand grasp the data whatever given it is easy way then just continue to learn at the rate of parolico.com or you can download the mobile app also thank you